Okay, so it's two o'clock, Monday the 18th, July. I'm just about at the River Itch and I'm off doing the South Downs way. So, um, it's two o'clock, I've just said it's two o'clock. Gonna, don't know how far I'm going today, as with all, all of my tracks. I never know where I'm planning, so I don't even know how long I'm going to take. So we'll just say we'll play by here because it's boiling hot, and I'll bring you back in a bit. Okay, so here's our sign that everyone shows you. It's actually a mile back that way, but and we're off. And I'm heading back behind me there, hundred mile that way. Um, I'll probably break this down into um, excuse me I'll probably break this down into uh, daily videos because I tend to do big massive long videos and they end up being like over an hour long so I might break it down and just uh, do it into days because probably going to do it I'm looking at Saturday finishing either Saturday or Monday it depends on what I get on today and tomorrow because Today's baking hot and it's quarter past two now. So I've just I didn't do much filming in Winchester because it's it's really touristy. And uh the squirrels running around. Yeah, it's really touristy, so I just thought I'll leave it. So uh yeah. Right, so we turn here now. Tells us down there. And we head that way. Hey, the bridge shot because everyone does it and I didn't want to be left out and uh, leave you out I don't know what motorway that is but uh, oh yeah the M3 so we're uh, pretty busy, pretty noisy. Hoping to get away from that noise soon. So I'll bring you back in a second. We're heading down across the bridge there, so nearly done it now. And literally, you come from there, and then you end up in this field, and it's literally 15 metres from that bridge. And uh, you're walking through this. So, started properly now. I'm out into the countryside. The views opened up immediately. Fantastic. Let's see. Uh, let's enjoy the ride. Whew, nice, I've just come up there. But it's a bit steep. So, I'm here where the firing range is. And, uh, No red flag. Everybody, almost every video I've seen, there's the red flag there. So I'm about just under three miles in, 45 minutes or so. I'm gonna take a break in a minute. I'm gonna get up, find a little sheltered spot, sit down, get some sun cream on, have a drink. As my mouth feels like Gandhi's flip flop at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you back in a bit. It's a bit warm. As you can see from my face, I'm bloody boiling hot. It's uh, 33 degrees, probably a little bit more. So it's about 90, 99, isn't it? 33, 66, 98, about 98 degrees. And it feels every one of them. So as I said, I've just got to choose for head, which is down over there. You can just make out down in that valley down there. That's where Eisenhower uh, spoke to all the troops just before D-Day. Right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Gives you the better idea of cheese for head. Right, there's some kind of festival. 
Okay, so it's uh, five past four. I'm about a mile away from Holden Farm. I think it's Holden Farm. There, there's a water tap there. Gonna need it because I've already done a litre then. I'm uh, about six miles. Holden Farm's just just up there and uh, down a bit. So we are. Have, been sat down for about 10 minutes just chilling out in the shade because it's absolutely boiling. I don't know if I've just said this, but my watch says it's 34, 34 degrees, which makes it just under 100. So it's still pretty warm. So I'll catch it in a bit. Right, well, I've just come out of Holden Farm. I was going to camp here because uh, quarters to five. Boy or not, I just thought, nice place to just stay for the first night, proper sight and that. 20 quid. 20 quid do you want? I'm not paying 20 quid. I mean, you pay, I've been happy to pay a 10 or 15. I'm not paying 20 pound for a bit of grass, a line a bit of grass. It's absolutely ridiculous. So if anyone ever watches this from Holden Farm, Backpackers are not going to pay 20 quid because you can go on wild camp for nothing. So I'll just push on and wild camp for nothing. Thanks, Holden Farm. Yeah, cheers. It's half past seven, and as you can see, I'm here. Uh, yeah, to show you around. That's an ice maker, fridge, freezer, fridge, fridge, freezer. Washing up stuff, uh, kettle, charges on. I'm out, I'm a, a holding farm. There's my tarp. I've got that set up like that, I'll show you properly. So, uh, what I just said was, and then I'll just sit down in a second. So, you should have just seen me kicking off about Holden Farm. Uh, what it was was I came round and there's like a cafe called Cadence and I went in there and spoke to the lad and he tried to charge me 20 quid to stay the night. Now I'm not having that. I mean I don't mind paying because of the, I mean the only reason I'm staying at a campsite is because of the heat. Because I got here late, the heat was just ridiculous. It's just, I mean it's still now high 80s it's, I'm, I'm boiling but anyway so uh, decided to I wasn't having any of it walked out done a little bit to camera as you've just seen and I do apologize because I walked less than 20 yards further on and the owner was walking the dog and I sp spoke to them they just said you know it's hot conversation and I was remarked about how expensive it was and they were just like no walk into the tenner so to charge me a tenner so i think they were going to charge me 15 which would have been about right that i paid 15 quid but because they were messing me about but no the lady was absolutely fantastic can't fault her absolutely fantastic walked me round charged me a tenner showed me everything there's showers laundry stuff there's there's a little shop there it was shut when i got here like but that kitchen you've just seen, there's another field just over there behind where the camper van is. I don't want to go too much because it's uh, some Germans have just pulled up and I've just been chatting to them. Seem really nice. There's a Belgian couple a bit further up as well. So, last little look around because, like I say, I've got the tarp set up like that. Let me just zoom in a bit. I'll show you the properly after. Look at it. Where's it gone? Size it, I think. I'm 
morning. Day one. I'm classing this as day one because yesterday was literally two hours. So we might tack it on to the end, but this is day one. First full day. It's uh, half past seven in the morning. It's already getting warm. So I'm trying to. I've uh, left Olden Farm about five minutes ago. I was going to get up really, really early, but that heater just slept right through. So starting now, no idea where we're aiming for today. So we'll just see where we get to because again, it's been forecast to have another record breaking day temperatures. Now, I didn't have a signal yesterday, last night, so couldn't see what the news was. So I don't know where was the hottest place, but it was definitely boiling hot. And uh, as I say, it's only half past seven and it's boiling already. Just wanted to say one more thing about Holden Farm. Absolutely fantastic place. And uh, uh, if you are backpacking this, do pay them a visit if you come down late. Or at least stop in and see them support them because <clears throat> they were absolutely fantastic for me after the uh, little debacle with the cadence cadence place that's the cafe that i'll show you now so apparently it wasn't um wasn't the farm's fault it was uh, the lad who works in this works for that cafe or owns the cafe it was um he just thought he'd charge everyone 20 quid, so anyway, Holland Farm, nice one. Uh, following that route, onwards towards the Sustainability Centre. It's a few miles away yet, but I'm aiming for breakfast or lunch there. the camera's picking up because it's really really sunny that beacon hill come from down there it's now just gone up past eight it's a lovely breeze but it's absolutely boiling already so stop here for five minutes have a quick drink Crack on, bring you back in a bit. And there's one of the beacons that was lit for, I think it was uh, 2000, was it, or the, the Queen's Jubilee? It had probably been lit. <coughs> it's uh, still warming up. So that was Beacon Hell. I haven't filmed much this morning because there's not really that much. You're walking through farmers' fields in the, along the 4 before path. To be, a little, to be honest with you, it's a bit boring and now on this road. So, onwards and upwards. Two o'clock. I've been sat at me on springs for nearly two hours, two and a half hours, just to try. And, I'm not walking in this heat. It's hundred degrees at least. It is boiling. It's July the nineteenth. We're not used to summers like this, heat waves like this. And uh, anyone who watched, if you watch my year. Uh, Cumbria Away channel, me, me Cumbria Away video. I don't do heat very well. I usually uh, go silly and try, try and crack on. But uh, the heat's beating me today. I've drank, yeah, let me just, yeah. I've drank about seven litres of water already. I'm walking down here now. I've just come from down there. As I said, 
I must have drank six or seven litres. I've got two in my bag as well. So it's just ridiculously hot. I'm now about a mile and a half, two miles from the sustainability centre where I'm looking at spending another couple of hours sitting down. I don't know, I might camp, I might just... Tomorrow's been forecast to be a bit cooler, so I can push on and do some big miles tomorrow. But you can't do it in this heat, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, I'll well, catch up with you in a bit. Check out the view. Just come from down there. God, I'm knackered. Just come up that hell. I don't even know what down I'm on. I'm coming by this radio mast. So I'll have a look in the map and it'll be along the bottom, wherever I am. But yeah, what you, YouTube doesn't show you, I do apologise for the finger that. What YouTube doesn't show you is trying to walk in this heat, coming up and down. Up, up hills, up steep hills. Now, they're not as steep as the Lake District, but bloody hell, with this heat, it makes them just as hard. You might as well be climbing a mountain. Normally, I'll be powering through, but I hope tomorrow's cooler. Anyway, uh, I'll give you one last little sweep around. You should always take the time to just stand back. And have a look where you've been, and I'll catch you in a bit. Morning, day two. So I stayed in there, uh, just behind me there, you can see where I stayed. I'm in a place called the Sustainability Centre, I got here about three o'clock yesterday afternoon and it was just it was nearly 100 degrees and you just can't walk in that weather but so i stayed here um i'll just give it a so that's where i stayed there's a little things called so this one's bramble that's where i stayed there's a down there and then there's the main campground there there's a little, I forget me not, that's called. So, uh, as I said, I got here for about three o'clock. Sat down, just shut to five. And uh, I thought, I'm not, I'm not going to pay. So I didn't. <laughs> I just waited. I know, but do you know what? Right, walking in that heat, I couldn't have walked any further. It was just ridiculous. So I'm on my way. Here's the loose compost toilets, bit of sawdust, throw that down. And uh, off we go. Heading for Queen Elizabeth Park first. It's my first port of call to get some proper breakfast because I've been eating like protein flapjack things and the cocoa ones from Home and Bargain and they're awful. But we'll see. Catch you later. That's where I'm heading in a minute towards them trees. That's the Queen Elizabeth Country Park. I'm heading down there towards that main road uh, and towards because I'm starving. It's a uh, time is it? It's a uh, quarter ten. 
so the Queen Elizabeth Country Park Cafe opens at 10 so I'm having a lazy one today I'm enjoying it I'm just like just walking down there as I said towards the Queen Elizabeth Country Park the cafe opens get some brekkie just how stunning is this country I know it looks overcast it's a lot better than yesterday I know I'm squinting like but that's because I'm always squinting <laughs> okay oh, <clears throat> just come out of uh, Queen Elizabeth Country Park cafe just had a brekkie so Whew. coming up that hill man you notice it with a full stomach uh, Brecky was all right, but they gave me like hairy potatoes. I mean, spuds, who has spuds on breakfast? It's a bit posh. I think the chefs are wannabe Gordon Ramsay. And uh, yeah, free charging. Do you let you charge your phones up for not? And so just go in, see the girl at the counter, and there's a little locker and charge your stuff up. Oh, and they, uh, they only take cash as well and I'm here walking that's where I'm walking I'll spin you around here just come up the hill down there and I'm starting to sweat because it's getting warm again it's still cool I like but right okay onwards and upwards uh, no idea where I'm heading to today what a rough idea but we'll see right I'll catch you in a bit all right This is what I love about hiking. Come up that hill, and a little honesty box it's got flapjack and some water. So, uh, thank you if that's your house. Appreciate it. Uh, as you can see, I've changed hats. I got this hat off a uh, fella I was chatting to in the uh, sustainability centre. I can't even remember your name. From Ellesmere Port. And a uh, really nice bloke. Got on really well. We had a Good chassis, he's a hiker himself, goes all over the mountains in North Wales and he's come down here for a retreat, getting back to nature, really nice bloke, uh, really nice, do you know what, actually I've met some really nice people down here, it's been, been really good, so I don't know why they say yeah, southerners are unfriendly because they're not all the ones I've met today, well so far, right, onwards and upwards. You can see where them people are, I don't know if you can make them out, but that's where I'm heading and like that for a the view. There's that radio tower that I came past. Hey, when did I come past that? Was that yesterday? Looks like that's the Queen Elizabeth Park, them trees, don't it? South Harton down there with the green church roof. No idea what this little village is right in front of me. And I'm heading that way. Hey, I'm gonna sit down and have some lunch in a minute. I haven't been filming that much because there's not much. It's uh, mostly 4x4 tracks. As I said, it's, uh, there's not that much to say. You're walking through four, across through uh, the sides of fields all the time. And, there's a farm who's posted loads and loads of private keep out signs. God knows why, I mean, you're in the middle of nowhere, you know. <laughs> I 
Beacon Hill number two. Let me just, I think that right in the distance, I don't know whether the camera's picking it up. That's the Isle of Wight, I think, because that there is Portsmouth. And you're looking around, I can't see how well this is picking up on the camera, but that's a 360. And then there's this, see what this is. Right, well, if, uh, I'm about mile 13 in it, half past two. I've got another, say mile 13, I'm about mile 13 and a half. I've got another two and a half and then I turn off towards Cochin. Because uh, there's a pub there called the Blue Bell. And I'm um, uh, going to head there and sign up some food there today. And Because uh, I really could do with a pint or two. Down to my last leads to the water now as well. Yeah, uh, done really well today. So I've done as many miles as I did today now. By half past two was what I've done the entire day yesterday. So it's much, much better because of the weather. I'm uh, just looking around. I'll show you around it. There's been a Jeff flying around, so it's just, I'm, you might say, I've just shown you the been doing circles for the last like 10 or 15 minutes. but yeah as I said so another couple of miles should be into Cochin and uh, from then I don't know what the plan is because we'll have to see what the time is and see what's what but that was my original aim was to get to Cochin today and uh, looks like I'm going to do it before four o'clock see if I can find like I say I'll find that pub damn mounds you can see there uh, Bronze Age Burial uh, They're called the Devil's Jumps uh, They date back to about 3,000 years Best example of a Bronze Age Barrow Cemetery Archaeological, archaeological investigations have shown that although many barrows contain burials, some are left empty Excavations in 1853 found cremated bone in two of the large mounds but nothing in the outline so Bronze Age middle of nowhere I've seen this on a few other videos, so I've just come from down there and literally there's nothing for miles and miles and then I had random massive piece of stone I mean it's huge, it's just like I don't know over six foot high and look it's literally in the middle of nowhere Reminds me of the um, that stone up on the causeway, up in the Yorkshire Dales. Just as you come out of shaft, cross over the bridge, and you go along. There's, well, you go along. You're going up a few hours uh, on the way to uh, Kirby Stephen. Uh, have a look at me uh, coast to coast with. There's one there, but look at this view. I'm going to show you now. You can see the path heading up up there, I think that's where it is. I'm heading down towards that village, I think. I think that's Cochin. I hope it is, because I need to drink. So, another couple of miles should be in Cochin, and I'll uh, bring you back in a bit. Well, it's about 
it's ten past five, quarter past five. I've been here about half an hour, 40 minutes or so. I'm at Manor Farm uh, and it's a fantastic little campsite just outside Cochin. I decided to stay here because if you go up onto, if I go back up onto the downs, the next place to get water really, I think, is um, Amberley, is it? That's about eight to ten miles. So I can't go, can't go up further than this because I'm going to need two liters tonight, and then I'm going to need three or four in the morning, aren't I? Because, but well, anyway, so uh, I'm at Manor Farm in Cochin. And uh, I've just had the maddest shower. I'll just show you around so you can see in this field, this is where I am. I'll spin you around properly, in fact. What I'll do, there you go. So this is where I am. Hope you can see that and the sun isn't too hazy. But that's my view. So where that gas bottle is down there, that's where the shower is. And I was taking a shower and the lady explained to me how to use it, but me being me, didn't have a clue. Freezing cold shower, absolutely <laughs> buzzed me head off, it was so funny. And then the next thing is, is there's like a, the door, it's like an old, I don't know what it is, but it's been knocked together and there's all blows open. And the next thing is, is like I'm having a shower in the countryside and it <laughs> anyway so right so this is what the tarp looks like inside you can see how much room there is that is me AGS Max I uh, got off AliExpress for about 50 60 quid something like that 800 gram down summer bag then there's me same rest that's just a bit of plastic that I just use as a ground sheet there's my bottles and all my, all my gear ready sorted, so I put everything away, I try and, but you can see there's loads and loads of room in the tarp to set up.